I'm saying that. I have that piece of land and uh, let us say I am using it you know to, to run my factory. So, it is used as a, a factory premises or used for my factory premises okay? and uh, for the sake of argument for the sake of argument only let us say the, the, the land has a cost which is also my carrying value. Okay, let us say this is I do not know let us put a number around this let us say 200 thousand dollars right. Now, I believe since I am using this land you know as a part of my factory premises I am saying that this land if I use it uh, you know as a factory of course for, for you know with, with, with the factory itself I can fetch a market price. Okay, say for example, eight hundred thousand dollars, right? Or I may I may argue it like this. You know, this 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 market price to me is, I'm using this land. This factory is there. Uh, the land and the factory together generate the cash flows in future, and you know, I, I do the production in my factory premises and. I, I make goods, I sell them in the market and the, and the value in use or the you know the present value of those cash flows right becomes becomes eight hundred thousand dollars. So that's that's one way of looking at the fair value as my market price. So let's let's rather use the word fair value. Okay. But then somebody else thinks it very differently. Okay. Let us say the, the location where, where this land is. Okay? Now, this is an industrial premises and, 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 and the other users or other prospective users or the market. Okay? So, the market believes, believes that you, know, you, you rather, rather operate A hotel there instead of a factory. Okay, so there are a lot of factories around, but it would be rather more beneficial to not have this factory, but instead, you know, or let's say demolish that factory and instead create a new hotel. Right? There's a huge opportunity wherein people would be, you know, traveling to that place. They would be staying in the hotel. You can you can conduct, let's say, you know. Uh, uh, corporate seminars you can conduct uh, a lot of lot of lot of uh, you know uh, such conferences for that matter and uh, you talk about of course the food meal services etc and, and what not okay and 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 probably here we are saying that this value may come at One point two million, right? I'll, I'll come to this word one point two million in terms of why or how does it come? But but essentially, the market is thinking like that. Okay, I'm thinking running the running the la or using the land for the factory purposes can give me a value of hundred, but the market thinks that it would be around one point two million. Now the question is simple: Should I use this value? Or should I use this value? Okay, and that is where the standard is fairly clear. It says that what you are thinking is not relevant. Okay, what the market is thinking is essential. All right. Now we are not saying here that you would necessarily demolish this factory and rather operate a hotel. We are not at all saying that. We are all trying to say that whether you continue to use this land forever as your factory and you keep on doing that work and what not, all that matters as of now that the market is thinking that operating a hotel gives you a better proposition. Okay? That is where this is the highest 
and best use of this non-financial asset so called as land okay now importantly what is this 1.2 million what is this 1.2 million all about we are saying that there would be a cost to demolish the factory you need to incorporate that you need to factor that amount there would be a cost of construction of the hotel you need to factor that as well right and by the way it takes time to 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 demolish as well as to construct something new okay and then you start taking into consideration the 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 likelihood or the likely cash flows when that hotel is ready all right so so those those cash inflows or the revenue streams etc they would also be considered for how long up to the life of the hotel and and of course then you again look at every every you know the feasible assumption around that okay so that is how you start looking at deriving this value okay now what should i do if i if i were that market how do i look at this 1.2 million and and why would that 1.2 million come okay we are saying that well you want to build a hotel go ahead how many floors you know how many stories how how you know what is the height of the building how many rooms what all facilities we start talking about importantly whatever is physically possible it has to be physically possible you can't just assume uh, you know n number of uh, floors uh, for the hotel of course that's not that's not possible you look at the physical possibility of that but let us say on that piece of land right while physically i might be able to build let's say you know 50 stories or 50 such floors but legally i am only allowed to build let's say 20 floors what does it mean now i don't only factor the physically possible aspect i also look at what is legally permitted to be what is legally permissible all right you bring all those aspects into consideration but what you cannot ignore of course the financial feasibility of that what is your cost involved and what are the returns you are expecting you look at look at those likely returns also is it really sensible for a market participant is it really sensible for that external person to be able to get a viable return out of the project you take all these consideration into place before you revalue your piece of land right look at the highest and best use of that non financial asset right critically what you think is not important but what the market thinks is important right and that is where this standard tries to bring a lot more consistency in accounting right fair value is something which is very common across across the standards you you would hear these terms like fair value revaluation what all the terms that we are talking about what is critical is are we are we able to arrive at something which is a very transparent and a consistent value right and that is where you start looking at the word market participants where you have all the buyers and sellers where you have all people with you know complete knowledge complete information about for example let's say this piece of land in our example you look at all those factors to consider the highest and best use okay what is critical here is when you look at the paragraph it says that a fair value measurement of a non financial asset takes into account a market participant's ability to generate economic benefits now that is again going to be critical because if i say i have this land but i cannot for some restrictions cannot use it for any purpose other than running the factory 
for example i'm operating a business my shareholders would not permit the articles of association the very you know the document uh, on which my company is based out of the the objective of the company is not to operate for example a hotel but only to run a factory so this could be a restriction which is an entity specific restriction that is not important here again you look at the market if this restriction is not there for the market participants if this restriction is not there because it is purely an entity specific restriction it doesn't matter however if the land itself for example can asset specific restriction for example the the place where the land is situated is 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 like that where the 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 soil quality is a bit softer and you cannot probably have a huge construction around that's that's a, that's an asset specific restriction that would be critical to understand what is the highest and best use okay so so you bring all these considerations before you can probably do the the accounting for revaluation like in like in this case right and that's where it's critical to understand this paragraph again if i go back a fair value measurement of a non financial asset takes into account a market participants ability to generate economic benefits by using the asset in its highest and best use or by selling it to another market participant that would use it in the highest and best use again we normally say we normally believe that the current use like in this case land to be used for operating a factory the current use is presumed to be highest and best use but but many a times that would not be the case so you have to rely on that external factor rely on that, that most transparent factor to arrive at the accounting for this piece of land or any non financial asset it would include of course anything or everything you can think of a machinery an aircraft a yacht a ship a helicopter whatever you want to call it they are all being considered from a fair valuation perspective under the consideration of highest and best use for a non financial asset good so far thank you very much good day bye bye